everybody, welcome back. Um, last classes we have seen what a virus is and how a virus, um, what shapes it can have. What do we already know? There are different types of viruses according to their shape, their genetic material, their cover, and their host. But we actually don't really know how a virus works and, and Joram told me that today he was going to explain a little bit about this but I don't know where he is, he seems a little late but um, oh wait, look there, look outside aha, uh -huh. we found a virus, maybe we just follow him and he can explain us yo virus, you! oh, oh hello! what you doing? oh so, well let me explain you what I'm doing so, you see this is my protein box, where I have all my genetic material. So I'm looking for a way to, to reproduce. So I'm trying to find a cell that I can infect. Can we come with you? Yeah, I mean, why not? If you want, just uh, come with me. So you see, I have this key. It's the only one I have. So I'm looking for a cell that can open with this. So let's see if I can actually open this. Okay, no, this one doesn't work. Let's move on. Let's, let's move on. No. Ah, <laughs> okay, so this one worked. So, this is the first step of my process. This is an infection. So now that I open the door, I'm ready to infect this beautiful cell. Each virus has different tools to trick the security system of cells. This is why each virus can only infect those cells for which it has the right sort of key. Okay, so welcome to the cell. Now that we are inside, we can start the second part of my cycle, that is a transcription. So I will take my, D my DNA out of my protein box and open my instruction book. Once in the cell, the genetic material gets ready to be duplicated. The virus doesn't need the cover anymore. Okay, so now, now I need this to get copied in order to make more my cells. So let's ask this uh, really nice work cell worker that is here if he can maybe help me copy. Um, excuse me. Yo. Uh, could you maybe maybe make copies of the, this? Mm -hmm. Sure. The virus uses the tools of the cell to make copies of its genetic material and also to make copies of all the pieces to build its protein box. Finally, the viruses escape the cell and the cell dies. Yo, Horan, what have you been? You missed all the fun! <laughs> Did I? I mean, I told you I would teach you how the viruses duplicate and I think you got it. We did. Okay, so we have seen how the viruses duplicate, but actually some really clever viruses do a slightly different process. Okay. So why don't we go back and see what our friend could have done. Sure, I'm ready. Okay, so now that I took my instructions out, I will just uh, sneak them uh, among the instructions of this cell. So just give me a second. Uh, Hey, man, what's that? I must be nothing. Some viruses have what we call a lysogenic cycle. Instead of duplicating, they hide their material inside the DNA of the cell. The cell keeps duplicating and the virus will be hidden in all the new cells. At some point the virus gets activated, it will start duplicating in all the infected cells. That's super interesting. So, Joran, what kind of viruses do this, work like this? So, for example, HIV or herpes, they work like this. That's why they are so difficult to eradicate or to cure. Or actually, like, they don't have a cure right now. And they hit in your body and you cannot really detect them. What did we learn today? We saw how viruses reproduce. Infection. The virus enters the cell. Transcription. The genetic material gets ready to be duplicated. Duplication. Using the tools of the cell, the genetic material and the protein box of the virus are duplicated. 
lysis, the new viruses escape the cell and the cell dies. Some viruses enter a lysogenic cycle where they heat their genetic material among the genetic material of the cell, waiting for a moment to duplicate. And well, with that, I think, Elska, we are done for today. We are. So, see you in the next uh, class, guys. Hope you liked it. So, bye-bye.